Neptune Systems just released the newest evolution of their Apex controllers, the A3 series, and today we're gonna be looking at what is in essence the new version of the EL, even though it's dropping that EL tag. There is one major change in the base unit itself, one really smart addition to it as well, along with some new accessories, one of which a lot of us have been waiting to see. So let's get right into it. Much of the newest iteration of the A3 Apex controller is very familiar. The outward appearance of the base unit, the EB832 energy bar, the choice to include both pH and temp probes, the wireless control through the Fusion app, and the absolute myriad of both preset and custom control options that you can take advantage of to monitor and automate your reef tank. This definitely isn't a fully redesigned next-gen controller, Rather, it's more of a natural evolution or upgrade to the current Apex system that adds quite a bit of value that modern reefers are going to be able to appreciate. As soon as you open up the box though, you're gonna notice the first of the changes that separate this new A3 Apex from its predecessor, starting with an upgrade that many of us Apex users have been wanting for quite some time, and that is a redesigned temperature probe that finally has the same form factor as a standard probe. Rather than that stubby and bulbous temp probe that we've been using for years, Neptune Systems finally made the switch to a sleeker and much more practical temp probe that mirrors the standard pH, ORP, and cylinder probes, meaning that we can finally fit our Apex temperature probe into standard probe holders as well as inline probe holders like the one from Adaptive Reef. And while that might seem like a small detail, it is something I and many other Apex users are really happy to see. The second thing you'll notice is that the A3 Apex bundle now includes an LD2 leak sensor and the new magnetic optical sensor. I think this is a big win. One of the things we and often our spouses worry about the most is water where it shouldn't be. So including a simple leak sensor right out of the gate is something that all aquarists can make use of and gain that peace of mind that normally we'd need to buy separately. I'd most likely place this leak sensor under the aquarium stand to make best use of it. That way any water leaking, whether it's at the sump, external plumbing, hang on filtration, or even a failed seam on the tank, the water will eventually make its way to the floor where the sensor is and Fusion can send you a push notification or email and even trip an audible alarm to let you know the moment it detects water. The magnetic optical sensor can also be used in a number of different ways to add simple redundancy, the most obvious of which probably being using it as a low flow sensor in your sump's return section so that you never accidentally let your return pump run dry, but it could also be used as a high level sensor for the aquarium or a low level sensor in your ATO reservoir. The uses for this kind of sensor are virtually endless. Yes, both the LD2 and that optical sensor require FMM ports, and while there is no FMM module included in the box, that's because when you flip the base unit up and look at the ports, you're gonna notice right away that there are three new ports that do not currently exist on the Apex EL. Those three ports are actually FMM ports for fluid monitoring, and not only do they work with the included LD2 sensor and magnetic optical sensor, but they also work with flow sensors and the brand new LLS liquid level sensor, meaning you no longer need a separate FMM module to take advantage of those accessories, and instead you can just plug them right into the Apex base unit, which basically saves you 100 bucks if all you wanna do is grab a couple accessory sensors to add to the system, which I personally think is a really nice added value that makes the new A3 Apex a great way to add some always appreciated redundancy right out of the box. There is one more new feature that you will not notice right out of the box, and I actually hinted to it earlier, and that is a built-in audible alarm. This is another big win for me personally. Instead of having to purchase a separate device to act as an audible alarm to draw your attention to the tank if you're at home and don't happen to have your phone in your hand, Apex now has a shrill and very attention-grabbing audible alarm built directly into the base unit. So for those who do prefer it, you will not need to spend extra or dedicate space on your controller board or on the wall for a separate alarm. Now, a lot of the new A3 Apex is gonna be very familiar. Just like the EL, you still have a power port, two Aquabus ports, a temperature probe port, a pH or ORP probe port, an ethernet port, and an IO port. 
Both the base unit and the EB832 still have their fantastic mounting options for attaching them to a controller board. The physical setup and the app experience for both iOS and Android devices is also virtually identical, and the app does a really great job of walking you through the initial setup, which only takes about 10 minutes from start to finish. Once you pair up your Apex to the Fusion app, you'll see that the outlets are already pre-configured for the most popular reefing gear, and you can plug in your devices to the respective plugs on the EB832, and you're off to the races. Now, one thing that has changed with the app experience is that Neptune Systems now serves up customizing your setup right away with improved setup features in the A3. And just like always, the tasks function makes adding new gear super simple with zero coding skills. If you are a control freak though, you can get as in-depth and nerdy with it as you like, create your own custom codes, and really make the A3 Apex your own. And the A3 Apex isn't the only new gear Neptune Systems has been brewing up. There are three brand new sensors that you can take advantage of, one of which is a first in our industry. And while I did touch on a couple of them earlier, you can get a much more in-depth look at them in this video right here.